Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to start gaming services. So when you make a right click, when you click on start or restart, and if it's not restarting or starting, and if you are receiving this error, which says error 1060, the specified service does not exist as an installed service. So if you're facing this problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command, type in PowerShell in Windows search box, and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell, and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow, and then paste the command over here. Paste the command, and then hit the enter key. Now, this process will take some time. And during this process, you will receive some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. So you might see errors like this. So just ignore it and let the process complete. And once done, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can try to start gaming services. Now still you are facing the problem, in that case you can repair or reset gaming services. So you can open Windows settings and then go to apps, go to installed apps or apps and features and find gaming services in the list. You can even search over here, you can in the search box you can type in gaming services. So once you type in gaming over here, you, here you can see gaming services. Now in Windows 10, simply click on gaming services and then you will see advanced option. In Windows 11, click on this three dot and then go to advanced option. And here you can see the repair option, click on repair. Now once the repair is done, you can check, but still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can click on reset, reset. And after the reset, you can check. But if this step is not applicable to you, you can skip this step. The next step is to open Microsoft Store and then click on get updates. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now once Microsoft Store is open on the left hand side over here you can see on the bottom you can see the library option so click on library and then on the top right here you can see get updates option so click on get updates once all the updates are installed now you can check now still you are facing the problem then the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services to uninstall gaming services you can copy this command this command is provided in the video description so Again, type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter. Now once this is done, you can run this command. This will install gaming services. So on the same window, you can paste the next command. Hit the enter key. And this will open Microsoft Store on your computer and it will give you an option to install gaming services. So here you can see the install option, click on install, click on yes to allow, and let the process complete. Once this is installed, now you can try to check, you can try to start gaming services or you can simply launch the game. Now still you're facing the problem, in that case you can make changes in the registry. To make changes in the registry, go to this location. So type in registry editor in Windows search box and then click on registry editor. Click on yes to allow. And then go to expand HK local machine and then expand system. And then 
current control set now expand services and find gaming services in the list so over here you can see gaming services and gaming services net on the same location here you can see gaming services and gaming services net now delete this make a right click and then click on delete click on yes and then again make a right click on gaming services net and then click on delete now once this is done you have to restart your computer the restart is a must so restart your computer now after you restart your computer after the system restart now you, you have to run this command once again so again type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator always open powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then again paste the command hit the enter key and then run the next command on the same window copy the second command paste it over here hit the enter key this will again open microsoft store on your computer and then you will see the install option to install gaming services Now click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, you can check you should not receive the error message again. But still you are facing the problem. In that case, the last step is to perform in place upgrade. So you can update your Windows 10 or 11 using media creation tool. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to start the gaming services. So you can start or restart gaming services over here and you should not receive any kind of error message. So if nothing works, then you can always update your windows using media creation tool and you should not receive the error message again. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.